Thanks, Dan. It's, uh, it's great to show you all the enhancements in uh, image processing in Mathematica 10. Um, in this very quick talk, I'm going to show all the enhancements that we have added to the 2D image processing capabilities th that has been an ongoing effort since version 7. Uh, we are proud to announce that in version 10, we have added um, comprehensive support for processing and analyzing 3D images, and we have added and extended uh, color analysis and processing. So here I'm going to give just a few examples of all the great things we have added. In the field of image processing, we have added many convenient functions that give access, give high level access to day-to-day um, -day and very common image processing tasks like creating collages of many images, segmenting images, finding barcodes or even generating barcodes and classifying images thanks to the function classify. Um, let's look at a few examples. For example, you have a bunch of images that now also can be downloaded from all the integrated data functions that we have in Mathematica including like building data which are used to, to get these building images and put together a collage of all of those images and use it anywhere that you want. In addition, we, we accept uh, weighted images in image collage which can be something like population of a country associated with the flag of that country. And then here you have a list of all the countries and their populations in Europe and the collage can be created so that the visualization that is generated shows a visualization of population um, looking into the size of the flag, which is an immediate good visualization of, of populations of European countries. Um, in the field of segmentation and removing background, also we have thought about adding this super uh, great function, remove background, which does not care about what algorithm, or you don't have to be worried about what, what algorithm should be used in order to separate the foreground from the, from the background, but instead you can specify objectives like I know the background is green or the background is blurred or the foreground is brighter than the background and here is, uh, is an overlay of the separated foreground on a darker, darker background so that the contrast is more visible. In addition, we have added algorithms uh, like grow cut, grow cut segmentation which is very useful when you have complex foreground and backgrounds overlaid. Um, this, this function needs markers which can get created um, interactively with the, with the toolbar that is attached to, the, to all images in Mathematica and can be used for nice desegmenting foreground from the background and now I'm setting the alpha channel of all the background pixels um, so, so that only the foreground is visible. And here is just a, just a quick example of how that foreground and background markers can be generated very easily with some um, concatenation of image processing functions. As I mentioned in the main slide, barcode utilities have been added in version 10. So here I have, and, and we have added barcode recognition and creation for many common uh, barcode formats. Um, here, for instance, the barcode can be recognized, the bounding box can be identified and then overlaid on top of the original image. Same operation can happen for other barcode formats like the very common QR barcode. A nice thing that we know about the QR barcode is that the character set that it supports is a lot bigger than any other character set, um, um, than many other uh, barcode formats. Um, so here is a generation of a UPC barcode or a QR, but more, interesting, more interestingly, you can store almost anything, including mathematical expressions, into QR barcodes. So this is a QR that stores that plot expression, which can later on be um, recognized and converted to an expression and get plotted. So as Chris mentioned, classify is a very nice and high level function in Mathematica. Here I'm showing an example of doing a gender classification. We have a data set of images and associated gender, male and female, to all of those images. We need to do a little bit of pre-processing in order to be able to classify the gender. So in this case, we are extracting the face, converting to grayscale, and adjusting the histogram. Uh, and we can do that for all the images in the database. So once we have the uh, pre-processed data set of such a form, we can easily just pass that training set to, to classify and get a classifier function back. Now this can run on any image, so we are doing some of that pre-processing, fine faces convert to grayscale and so forth, and now we have an association 
between the images and the gender of the person that is shown in that image. So this is just a glimpse of all of the new and enhanced image processing capabilities. As I said, 3D images and volumes are now completely supported by Mathematica. Um, almost all of the functions uh, now support 3D images. This includes many more segmentation techniques compared to version 9, geometric transformation, feature detections, and so forth. One of the major additions to our image 3D support is this toolbar, similarly to the 2D image toolbar that we have attached to images in Mathematica. Uh, this can be used for changing the transfer function of, of any image that would be mainly used for visualization. We have an, a good number of presets and, and these um, can also be manually changed with, uh, with these locators and so forth. In order to see inside of a volume, we have controls along different directions or custom directions that can be set in order to show the inside of the volume. Uh, viewpoints can be set and a set of good number of information about the image can be shown uh, in that information tab. Next thing up, important thing sh to show is uh, geometric transformations. Um, so we have this volume and we want to transform it in order um, to align it with another volume or anything, morph it. Um, so this is a simple perspective transformation or a more complex arbitrary sine wave added to the Z positions to give such an effect. Feature detection is another category that we comprehensively added to version uh, 10, the, the support for image 3Ds. So here I'm computing, for example, the ridges that shows the structure, the inner structure of this engine block that we have in 3D. Um, similarly, corners can be computed. This is a more intensive operation. This is, this is a visualization of the corners. And in fact, for a better computation, for a better visualization, we can combine the ridges and corners and color the corners based on they, their strength and, and get a very nice representation of what's going on inside this block. Segmentations, as I said, have been enhanced. And more importantly, segment analysis, component measurements, and select components are, uh, are enhanced to work with, with 3D images. So here we have um, smoothing and clustering of images based on their pixel intensities. We can pick the segment which has the highest intensity in, in their voxel values. Um, do some little erosion since those high intensity pixels also have, for example, fat tissues in addition to the bone. And the, um, and the objective here is to segment the bone actually. So this is a core of the bone. Uh, we dilate that and get the perimeter of that. So this is uh, sort of an exterior uh, marker as, uh, outside of the bone. Grow cut components, which was the new function I mentioned earlier, can, can be used with 3D images to segment the bone um, image using those two markers. This is also a bit more computationally um, complex, but that's the result. And this is the multiplication with the original image. As I mentioned earlier, component measurements can be used to compute many measurements like the shape, size, uh, mean intensity, and so forth on, on 3D components. And last uh, section that I'm going to talk about is uh, color enhancements. Four new uh, color directives, LAB, LUV, LCH, and XYZ, have been added to Mathematica 10. They can be used anywhere that the color can be passed as an argument. That includes plots and visualizations, graphics, and all the image processing capabilities. These new color directives can be used for doing a more perceptual uh, representation of the color. For example, blending is known to be more linear, more perceptually linear in the LAB color space. And that's what you see in this plot compared to the RGB blend of the colors from red to blue. Um, in addition, color distance is a perceptual color distance function. It includes many, many different measures and can be used to see two colors are closer than two other colors. And uh, that same color distance, for instance, can be used for classifying um, a random list of colors, or these are extracted from dominant colors of that image. Last but not least for, ver for this very quick talk, are visualization functions for, for color spaces and uh, color distributions. So here we have a chromaticity diagram of one color space or two color spaces to compare them. Same thing in the 3D space. Um, you can plot, uh, you can see the 
color distribution of one image in um, 2D space, which could have uh, applications in, for example, seeing how big is the color distribution of um, pixels in images taken from different four seasons, for instance. Um, thanks a lot. This was my part. If there are any questions that I can answer, otherwise I guess we'll go to the next talk.